Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today we have episode number 6 of our Juventus career mode on FIFA 19. Uh, this is going to be uh, quite a packed episode, uh, we've got a, a good 15 minutes plus of uh, content for you guys today. I, like I said the other day I was pre-recording a lot of stuff to try and get um, as much content as I, I could uh, in terms of like, like pre-recording and stuff like that. So. Um, if you could drop a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, the support recently has been really, really good on my channel, so if we could keep that up, that'd be great. Comment down below. Also, subscribe if you're new. Post notifications on, all that good stuff. So, we started uh, against Young Boys 15 minutes in. Uh, we were 2-0 down. That goal was just something else. I just don't get how he scored that um, to make it 2-0. It was a really, really nice goal. Uh, I couldn't exactly do anything about it, but we just go straight from the kickoff down the other end with Quadrado, plays it into the youngster. I started him because I was like, you know what, I'll give him a game, see if he's any decent. It seems like Kian or something. I don't know if that is as a way to pronounce it, uh, uh, Kian. But yeah, he pulled us one back literally two minutes after they scored, which is really good. Still in the first half here, Ronaldo picks up the ball, plays it into uh, Kian again. He plays it into... Um, Emery Chan, Emery Chan, through on goal, really nice goal in the bottom corner, uh, makes it 2-2 in the 36th minute, which is good because obviously we had a poor start to this game, uh, especially young boys, I think they're bottom of the league, but not bottom of the league, bottom of the group, and uh, Ronaldo here gets tackled but gets the ball back, and what a goal this is, drills it across, hits the post and goes right into the other side of the goal, really, really nice goal uh, from Ronaldo there, 65 minutes, 65 minutes. No, 63 minutes played uh, so far in this game. And uh, Ronaldo just pulls it out of the bag. What a goal help was uh, by Ronaldo. I, I kind of wanted to drill it across goal, top corner, instead of doing what I did. But, I mean, we still scored, so it doesn't really matter. Quadrado plays a really nice through ball to Ronaldo here. Oh, no, Emery Chan, sorry, not Ronaldo. Uh, and the, he gets it. He eventually gets it back after Chan plays it into uh, Mandzukic. He plays it to Quadrado. And uh, he drills it in the top corner there. Really nice well worked goal once again from us. Like Juventus are really good at passing the ball around and making really nice goals uh, in terms of build up play and like team passing and stuff. Uh, as you can see here, Chan picks up the ball, plays it to Ronaldo. Uh, he cuts inside again, plays it across to Quadrado. He plays it across to uh, I think is that Mandzukic? It might be Mandzukic. No, no, it's Kadira. Why was why is Kadira there? Anyway, Kadira picks up a goal, five two. We've completely smashed young boys after uh, a really poor first 20 minutes or so of the game. But the goals weren't finished there. What a header that is from the, the striker there. Looped it straight over the keeper. Uh, another, It's just a consolation goal because it's 5-3 now. But this game had a lot of goals and I was not excited. I was, well, I was expecting a lot of goals for us but not for them as well. So uh, this... Um, <coughs> We then go up the other end actually with uh, Chan, Quadrado, Mandzukic. Mandzukic gets the ball, lovely touch, and what a goal that is into the top corner. Um, that's a couple of, what, that's like two two kickoff goals, I think, in this episode already for me, um, which is a bit bit dodgy, but uh, we do end up winning this game 6 3 because uh, that is the actual last action of the game. So we move on into the Champions League, progression is going well, and. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll qualify for the um, knockout stages, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one more Champions League game in this episode, uh, but we move into the next game against Spal. We uh, do actually sim this game, uh, Dybala, because obviously they they were mid table or bottom bottom half, I think. So I was like, I'll just I'll just sim this because we're at home. Um, Dybala getting two goals there. Uh, I think he ends up getting a hat trick. I'm not sure. Morata picks up one. That's three 0 Heading in towards the 70th minute, I'm, Rabio gets one. Okay, maybe it was just Rabio. I don't know if Dybala gets one. I don't. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, we do win four 0 though, so that's good. Morata, Dybala, and Rabio getting all the goals. Really, really nice. Um, we do make a big gap on the table. I think. I'm pretty sure that bumps us up quite a bit. Um, I actually ended. I actually like this Milan game was supposed to be the first game in the episode. Um, before, so when the games went Milan, Young Boys, then the Spal game, but I kind of um, halfway recording it after trimming all the video clips down, I realised oh, the Milan game was the first game of the episode, but um, it doesn't really, it doesn't exactly matter as long as I'm still showing you the highlights of it. Um, but this game should be 
it should be a really good game uh, because I, I, I don't really know where AC Milan are. I didn't check just before. I think they're in the top five, maybe top six. Uh, I'm not actually too sure, but um, yeah, we're doing all right so far in this get in this uh, episode. Uh, we've comfortable win against Young Boys and then comfortable win against Spal. Um, so AC Milan take off or uh, we'll start off the game with a kickoff. Um, uh, there's not there's not really much like obviously I normally keep the first like minute or three a minute to three minutes of the game uh, in uh, like in some episodes it just depends on if I get a chance close on which they do and um, <clears throat> Chesney makes a really nice save that's why I kept it in is because Chesney made a really nice save and then um, he pumps it out there who's that was that Ronaldo. I think that was Ronaldo who went up for a header with Morata. Oh no, with uh, Biglia. Yeah, it was Ronaldo. Morata plays a nice ball to him. He cuts inside. We just switch it across to Morata. Uh, crosses it in. Probably handball there if handballs were turned on, to be honest. But uh, they clear it. Um, and we get a throw in with Douglas Costa, I think that is. I'm pretty sure that's Douglas Costa. Yeah, it is. So um, we then move on into. The midfield here, Matuidi lays it across to Desiglio, one touch, bang. Thought I was going in top bins, but Reina makes a really, really nice save. And then Ronaldo, unfortunately, gets the tackle, but he can't keep the ball in play. So that's why I kept it in, because there was a big chunk of stuff right at the start of the game. Um, just to show you how end-to-end -end this game was. And um, they pick up the ball here, Biglia, nice play, and uh, it's a really nice finish. He shielded the ball really well. Um, Finished it really well, so you can't really complain about that. That's 1-0 to Milan, unfortunately. But here, I don't know what the centre-back was doing. We had so much free space and time, but I just laid it across to Ronaldo just to guarantee the goal. Because 82nd minute, we'd only just got enough time to create a chance to get it. Uh, to pull a point back, so I was not taking any risks there. Uh, I wanted the goal to be guaranteed um, with that. Into the 91st minute now, we're literally on the last scrapes of the game. Quadrado takes a nice touch around the defender, and he drills it into the top corner with this late goal to get all three points when we were literally 1-0 down like eight minutes ago. So um, it's really, really nice play from Quadrado. He's a really, really good impact sub when I don't start him because, uh, yeah, he's just really quick, really good at shooting, in my opinion, from what I've used him in so far. So we take a 2-1 win against Milan. Here we have the second game of the Champions League um, campaign this episode. Uh, we do make some changes to the squad because um, most of my players retired from that game against... Uh, it would have been against Spal because I simmed that game and then this game was the next game after that. But obviously the Milan game was after that, even though it was before that. So it's very, very confusing. But um, this is... Yeah, I kept most of the team the same. Well, no, I changed most of the team, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing guys, uh, changing the team around. Sorry there, I was just a little issue there with my computer as I was recording. So it's kind of messed it up. Hopefully it's alright when I end up editing this video. But um, big game for us here against Valencia. Because I think we got we got pumped the last time we played Valencia in the um, Champions League. I think it was the first game we had against them. We got absolutely pumped. So um, hopefully we uh, can get off to a good start in this game. Obviously, I kept a bit of the, the pre-game footage. Uh, but, yeah, let's get into this game. Um, hoping to win. 22nd minute. 22 minutes in. I don't know why I kicked it back to Chesney. And he's just absolutely ballooned it with that touch. Into the middle of the box. And um, who scored? Was that Gamero? Gamero is never going to miss from there. I just, don't, I just don't get why Chesney has done that touch. Absolutely stupid play from Chesney. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But we get the ball here with Matuidi in the 33rd minute. Makes a really nice run across the defence. But <laughs> it's kind of funny because Gabriel, he went to like slide tackle, like block, like block the ball. And because Quadrado's, because Matuidi's running into the path of Quadrado, he, Quadrado cut back and then when the shot went off, he slid in and to block it, but he's taken out Quadrado, so we got a penalty, and uh, Dybala converted it very nicely there into the bottom corner. Um, obviously, that pulls us back. It's now 1-1. We're on the account. We're on the counter again with Ronaldo. Cuts back really, really nice there. Uh, Fate Rabona. Boom. Douglas Costa 2-1. What a goal that was, by the way. Oh no, Alexandro. 
Alexandro, why did I think it was Costa? That is weird. But yeah, very, very nice goal there. Very well played for Ronaldo and Alexandro. Here we go again. Ronaldo plays it into Mandzukic. He plays it back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo cuts inside. Really nice run there. Drills it into the top corner. Classic Ronaldo goal that. Running down the line, cutting inside, pinging it into the top corner. Really nice play from Ronaldo and Mandzukic. Mandzukic is another one. He's like Quadrado. When you bring him on, he's really, really good uh, Like as a super sub. But I couldn't start him and play a whole 90 just because I don't think he's good enough for that. But he is uh, very, very good in, in terms of a super sub. Batshuayi drills one into the top corner here. Really, really nice goal. It came out of nowhere as well because I was dominating this game. Uh, made it 3-2. Ronaldo tries a shot there, misses. They clear it, but that is the end of this game. 3-2 winners. Really, really good result for us because I'm pretty sure that this guarantees us um, knockout stage football now. But I'm pretty sure the next episode you'll find out uh, who I got or um, I think I have one more game maybe in the Champions League. I'm not sure. I don't know if I do. I think that's done for the Champions League at the moment. But we move on into this next game against um, Fiorentina. Fiorentina uh, are quite high up the table as well. Um, obviously, we um, we need to win this game. It's a away game just to keep just to keep the mentality and the the morale, I guess, if you want to say, to around the club. Because obviously we're quite high up in the league now. The You'd expect that, enormous. but. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to win the game. Uh, it, was, it was a very, very good game from what I remember. Obviously, we're going to have to watch the highlights to uh, see that. But, it's, yeah, let's get into this game. Obviously, I, I need to, sometimes I, I leave too much highlights in, like, before games, because obviously when I'm post-commentary, I don't really, sometimes it's just like, oh, what do I say? But, Alexandra here. What a ball that is to Douglas Costa. It only just about goes in because the keeper they made a really good save, but he un unfortunately kicked it into the goal. But that ball from Sandra was so good. Uh, I think that was like an R1 square like across the face of the goal. A uh, really nice play there from uh, Sandro. As you can see here, Keelan, he makes a really good tackle, but they do still have a throw in our final third. Plays it back out to the winger, back inside, back out to the winger again. He plays a really nice ball in there. What a terrible clearance from De Siglio. And how has the striker scored that, man? Chesney should be saving that all day long. He's nearly outside the box with that header. How's he nearly scored? How's he scored that? Is it like Geo or something like that as well? I just don't get it. How? Look, look at this again. If I keep the whole replay in, whips it in. Decide though, poor clearance. He's nearly outside the box, man. How is Chesney not saving that? Absolute joke, man. I can't believe that. Decide, so poor. And oh, and it's Perrin as well. It's bloody Perrin. Someone in the comments said, oh, yeah, you should start pairing or play pairing more. Give him a chance, and he does that. Fuming. Absolutely fuming with that. But Giovanni Moreno scored for them. It's now 1-1 in the second half. Um, early in the second half as well, so that's not good for us. But we do uh, move on into the 59th minute. They pick up the ball again. Uh, uh, who was that? I can't remember who that was. That was Samino or something. But anyway, we clear the ball out. Don't know what that player is doing there. And I don't know what he's doing. Don't know what the keeper's doing. Just Perrin. Come on, Perrin. You're better than that. I just don't get it. I think it was Emery Chan that messed it up for us there. Um, so it's 82nd minute now. Oh, it's Bernard Dashe, actually. I've just realised because he has the gloves on. But really nice play here. Douglas Costa is one on one. Uh, cut it back to Quadrado just to guarantee the goal in the 83rd minute. 2 2 now. It's like the Ronaldo one in the get two games ago. Uh, I guarantee I wanted to score and I didn't want to just shoot with Costa, just like I was worrying. But nice play here again. Bernard Ashe plays it to Quadrado. Quadrado, nice touch into the space. Should be scoring and he bottles it. He bottles it with eight seconds left of the game. He bottles it. We could have won 3 2, but no, he bottles it. And just, how have you not scored that? His curve shot is really nice, and he just bottled it, and then the game's done, and we we drew, we drew, two two with Fiorentina away from home. I mean, it's not that bad of a, of a result, but when you got chances like that in the 91st minute, you should be scoring that. And the keeper didn't exactly help us today. Perrin had a shocker. Right, gone back with Chesney now for this game against Inter at home, and I'm pretty sure most of the team is uh, the same anyway. So uh, that will do. Uh, the, Ronaldo has really impressed me in this game so far. Obviously, you expect Ronaldo to be like one of the best players, and he is unreal for me. 
Uh, I think he's top goal scorer in the league at the moment as well, so that's really good. Um, him, Costa, and I'd probably say Dybala, the best players we've used. But what a goal that is by Perisic, by the way. 32nd minute. He's kind of like chested it, chested it and then like scissor kicked it into the top corner at a stupid angle. Absolutely ridiculous. How's he scoring from there? But Sandro plays a nice ball to Ronaldo. Ronaldo drives in, plays a nice ball into, or he tries to play a nice ball into um, Quadrado. This was actually it for the game. This was it, unfortunately. Um, this is going to be 